Guess who's back? Back, back again, again. Yes, it's Beaver, Beaver. Oh God, I can't, I can't do that. Hello everybody and welcome to a long overdue video of unboxing toys with me. But before we start, I, what's that? What's that? What's that? What, what's this amazing shirt I'm wearing? Oh, I don't know. Maybe just some new hot, sick merch that we've got. Also comes with, well, it doesn't come with, but we're also selling mugs. Yes, that's right. This is part of the Tea Break merchandise. And I thought, why not? If I'm going to make any merchandise, let's make something that is just like really fitting for the channel now. You can always make mugs, but this time I've decided to make sort of like a mug set. You can buy the t-shirt that has all of the dinosaurs on. That is the T-Rex, the Contaurus, the Toast, Spinosaurus, and the Parasaurolophus. And as well as that, you can buy the mug separately as like a little tea set. So you can have each dinosaur individually, or if you want for a limited time, we will sell the full t-shirt design on the mugs. So if you really want both, you can get them, but snap them up while they last. So all those designs are actually smaller than what they're gonna be. Originally they were gonna be like that, but um, I decided actually maybe they look way better blown up. So just to give you an example, that's the size of those ones, but they'll be blown up to the size of this. So they will go around the entire mug. And also Ryan, the amazing Ryan I, I commissioned to uh, create these. He's, a, he's an amazing artist and he's also the guy who did uh, the revamp to my banner on my YouTube channel. But before we get any further as well, also Mike told me that um, the uh, toast, and uh, Nubla is toast. Those magnets that, uh, well, I don't actually have one with me, but I'll, I'll probably put an image, you know, these things, except for it's all like ashy and there's lava and all hand painted and hand sculpted by the uh, amazingly talented and Mike, we ran out straight away. I think we had like 50 gone, but he decided to make a second lot or a second round of uh, Nublaris toast. So if you do want to snag, I think there's like 20 left now. If you want to go straight to the link down in the description below, I'm laughing because I just messed up and this is a separate take. If you hadn't guessed, uh, you could find them there and quickly snap them up before they're gone. <laughs> had you fooled. <laughs> it's actually nothing, isn't it? No, no, today we will be unboxing one dinosaur we've all been waiting for. It has to be said, and that is BAM! Oof. Oh god, not the cardboard again <laughs> thing! Ah. The Spinosaurus from Mattel. This is, of course, the Legacy Collection. Uh, one of the dinosaurs that I remember when Jurassic Park was having its big uh, 25th anniversary um, debut uh, where they had like in Universal Studios, it was like a celebration. On the showcase for Mattel, they actually showed this guy, this Spinosaurus right here. And everyone lost their minds like, oh my God, yes, a good Spinosaurus, like a good sized one. We have had them in the past. Jurassic Park 3, when it was Hasbro, uh, had like a huge remote controlled one, which I don't know, I think it goes for loads online these days. And also they had um, a, a, a different one. I don't even know what the other one was, but it was, it was a big one, but it was kind of like, rubbery it was all like dinosaur feel because it was hasbro it just what it was more like this the squishy rubber rather than like the solid rubber that we're used to with um the kenner model so it still then left a lot to be desired but this one promises and it already delivers on the uh, physical look for that spinosaurus but before we take it out of its box we might as well compare it to the spinosauruses of the past um, and no, we're not gonna, I'm not gonna go into like Jurassic Park ones and Lost World ones because they were kind of their own thing before this Spinosaurus because this is supposed to be the one from Jurassic Park 3. But what a better thing to compare it to than of course the uh, Spinosaurus from Jurassic Park 3 that came out with the merchandise. So this was the, uh, the basic one, there was other versions, it was like an Arctic version and I think there was like a jungle version. It was basically the same, just with different patterns. One was like paler and one was like really tanned and had like cyan and black on it. Nope, nope, the barriers ran out, but you do have like a little articulation there. Uh, the same with this one, because they both have this jaw, uh, except for, yeah, there you go. Um, so the, the action's kind of there. The uh, react attack set, um, and the, the sculpt on the head's quite nice. The only problem is the tail's really short. It's posed like this in the box because it didn't really stand well, uh, unless it was up like that. So in comparison to, this Spinosaurus? 
This one's, it, it's better because it's bigger. It looks the part, it's more like, you know, the Jurassic Park 3 colorings, whereas this one, I mean, the toys go into manufacturing everything long before the movie's out. So or maybe this was an original design, maybe it was gonna be more gold than the um, gray and reds that it ended up turning out to be. But not too bad, this Jurassic Park 3 one kind of still t um, stands the test of time. However, one the Spinosaurus that does not stand the test of time is of course, the uh, Jurassic World, as you can see right there. <coughs> still looks absolutely bloody hideous. You don't need to see any more. That, this speaks volumes for the Hasbro line. Just cheapy McDonald's toys. The packaging looked half decent. But, I mean, look at the, what's the leg do? Oh, oh, there you go, oh, my bad. And this horrible gaping wounds, this cut everywhere for the articulation. Like, you can see the mechanism in the back there. The tail is just hanging off. There's just a huge crack there, which they haven't really bothered to fill, because you're supposed to twist the tail in order to move the head, but just not very well thought out. A puke, uh, like, green for this skin. Lord knows what they were thinking, but uh, we're not here to uh, review that anymore, thank goodness. Before we get into unboxing this uh, bad boy, um, I just want to say a little bit for how I got a hold of this. This was on Amazon. Now, if you're anywhere else in the world, apart from friggin' America, you're gonna have a hard time finding any of those. You're in America, you get the Colossal Mosasaur, you can get Colossal T-Rex, the new Baryonyx Lava Slime Set that's just recently came out by Target. You can get that too. But if you're anywhere else, you're not gonna, you're gonna really, really, really struggle to find these dinosaurs. Um, luckily, actually, I'll tell you what, I, I might do an unboxing video of this, but just in case I don't, I will show this, because when I was in Barcelona, um, and speaking of finding things hard to find, um, when I was in Barcelona doing the thing for Hungry Dragon, I came across a toy shop, and I came across this for 22 euros and 99. And this is, oh, if I just shove it in there. This is the Sukumai, which basically um, works a similar way. It's got a little button you press at the back, and it can sort of eat. One thing I freaking love about these sets is diversity of the dinosaurs. Because what, what little kid doesn't want, ooh, this can be the raptorid, sort of, or I don't think it's called that, but you know what I mean? The, those sort of dinosaurs, or small carnivores, so you can have Herarosaurus, um, the, uh, the Velociraptors, all the, all the different types of raptors, and you know, they can have their own characters. And so many different species, Spinosaurus, Suchomimus, Baryonyx, which is uh, over there. I, I honestly love that about it. Child sweet shop for dinosaurs, and that's what I love about these sets. There's so much diversity, and they all have their unique colors and quirks. It kind of reminds me of the uh, kind of line for The Lost World, uh, where Chasmosaur had its own color, and the Spinosaurus had its own weird green purpley color. Um, the Suchomimus, even though it looks nothing like what we would have kn known or seen the Suchomimus look like, I guess kind of similar. Suchomimus was maybe a darker blue and a more vivid yellow, um, but it's, it's its own thing, and I love the way it looks. But will this deliver on the Spinosaurus we always wanted? Just a, a, a big size Spinosaur that could compete with another big size T-Rex, like the one from Jurassic Park or the one from The Lost World. Or in this case, now we have the uh, Thrash and Throw T-Rex to go alongside this one. Will it be bigger? Will Universal have done the same sort of thing they did with Frontier and made the T-Rex bigger than the Spinosaurus? We're about to find out. You know, I, I, when I first started doing these unboxing videos, I was like, oh, be careful, you can put it back in the box. I, I've unboxed so many that I'm just like, I can't keep the boxes, I've got to chuck them. Also, before, before we do anything, uh, I just want to showcase the back of the box there. Just in case anybody really wants to see it, because I know some of you guys might. Um, and it's a digital rendering of the Spinosaurus looking bigger in comparison to the T-Rex there. Now, on we go. Uh, just while I unbox this, I want to uh, sort of explain my absence from the toy unboxing scene just because a lot of people do want to see the unboxings. Like when they first came out, the people were like, people, why are you not unboxing all of these amazing toys? The Spinosaurus, the Sukumimus, um, uh, God knows anything else. The reason behind it was when I first started unboxing the Legos, I was unboxing the uh, dinosaur toys, um, Mattel, and I'm saying this now because they have cut all ties with me, apparently, uh, did get in touch with me. And they were like, oh, you, we would love you to unbox some of our toys. Give us your address, we'll send a box. And I was like, this is so amazing. Mattel got in touch, they finally were like, you know what? This guy loves the dinosaur toys, he's unboxed loads. Let's, let's, let's give him some free dinosaur stuff. And I was like, awesome. 
But at the same time, while I was in contact with them, I was unboxing toys. All the, you know, the Triceratops, Baronyx, the Cossus T-Rex, the Thrash and Throw T-Rex, I was unboxing all those, and then the communications just stopped. And the only reason I can think is that I was doing unboxings for free anyway, so why waste time sending me stuff? That's, that's the conclusion I came to in the end. I was like, they probably just saw I was unboxing stuff for free, and they were like, nah, just leave them be. So in my like mini protest, I was like, right, I'm not going to unbox anymore. I'm going to wait until I get this box of stuff and then we'll do a big video and I can say thank you Hasbro. Oh, not that one. Thank you Mattel. And um, we can carry on and have a jolly good old time. And I was hoping maybe I would get like the Colossal Mosasaur and maybe even the Spinosaur. And I won't have to resort to, um, you know, trolling the, in the internet, try and find a, you know, moderately priced one that I can, you know, have shipped to me. Um, however, that was not the case. Hasbro. <laughs> Because there is a conspiracy. I don't know what it is. It's universal, and I'm pretty sure they just they quickly go to anybody like, D don't touch him, don't touch him, don't send him anything. God, <laughs> I'm surprised I actually made it to an interview Jeff Goldblum that one time. But that was Frontier, and I love you, Frontier. Love you guys. I'm sure Universal were like, don't bring the beaver. Don't bring the beef and like, we kind of have to. <laughs> as long as he generates loads of sales, then I guess you can bring him in. There you go. It's a little bit of behind the scenes that you guys might find interesting. Might not. But anyway, we're almost unboxed this thing. So let's get it set up, shall we? Oh, bloody Nora. I'm going to need scissors, on I? All right, guys. Hold on while I go downstairs and get bloody scissors. <laughs> <laughs> I free you, Spinosaurus! After so many years of wanting a good Spinosaurus toy, you may be freed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We'll worry about that later. It's weird soon, hasn't it? Is that a decent letter? Is that about right? For tail? I'd probably say... They always skimp out on the tail, don't they? I would say probably about that. That looks... I mean, to balance this huge, heavy body here, the tail definitely needs to come out somewhere here, I would say. But that's just me. Maybe maybe there. Why do they always skimp out on the tails? <laughs> I mean, the, the whole box wasn't filled. They could have made this longer if they wanted to. So here she is! The Spinosaurus. Oh god. Ooh, that tail is is kind of like really easy to manipulate. Like that is no pressure and it's moving. But no, that is like I my, my little pinky could move that easy without any Look, I don't even need to move my hand. Like just Oh my god, that is great. Look at this. Like just so I mean, with the let's get the thrash and throw T-Rex. Not the chomp and strike T-Rex. Put that thing away. Good lord. I mean, all right. Yes, you're definitely electronic, that's for sure. So they're kind of the same in the way that they both move. So they both have neck joints. Uh, the thrash and throw is actually built so that you can, you know, you can manipulate the, you can manipulate the tail with the head. Um, the Spinosaurus. Well, I didn't ex Oh God, his foot's facing backwards. I'll put you down like that. You stay there. But the Spinosaurus, of course, is like a different, the Legacy set I've always found to be like maybe the cheaper version. They don't put as much time and effort into the Legacy set, except for bloody the the, the, the human characters like Robert Muldoon, Ellie Grant, Ellie, Ellie Grant, wow, <laughs> they're married. Uh, Ellie Sattler and Dr. Grant, they're, the, the, the sculpts and the faces, you can definitely tell it's the characters, or at least from what I can see. I do actually own some, but I'm so scared of opening them because you can't find them anywhere. Like I said, if you're outside the UK, they just don't exist. But what I actually like um, about this Spinosaur over the Thrash and Throw T-Rex is just like, if we get like a little close-up shot there, is just the way that you can, you can pose it. Strike the pose. Look, look at the articulation. You can have them like face down, you can have them face up, face left, face right, and it'll just stay there. And that actually feels quite solid. Um, I'm not usually one for dinosaurs to have the, uh, the you know, very segmented necks and limbs and that sort of body parts. For the compromise that you can actually get these like really dynamic movements, um, I really like that. The only problem is, again, like the only way to open the mouth is to do that. And you get this sort of like weird tongue that comes out when you do that. 
Yes, I've still got this turned on. Okay. Sorry, I was just like, so this is post basically when I'm just doing some close up shots. But um, like actually making the mouth move, um, it's, it's kind of hard to explain, but you have to go, if I get that in shot, you have to push. You can't push at the top. You have to push at the bottom. <coughs> Bless me. <laughs> and if you push at the bottom, um, your finger will jag against this thing, which is a little part of the neck. So it makes for like a really uncomfortable um, like play. So you do it once and you're like, ow, 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 ow. And it, it's kind of tough actually to do it. It's not like with the Sukumimus where you just like press it down and does it. You, you really have to put pressure like watch. I like, I'm pushing me. That is really hard. You have to put your whole finger across it and then do it. Like you, you literally have to strangle the Spinosaurus in order to get that mouth to really uh, work. Which is a bit of a shame. And also, the longer I'm looking at this Spinosaurus in the viewfinder, the more I'm realizing it looks kind of like a goose. <laughs> but that looks really cool. I mean, in comparison, we'll, we'll definitely like size comparison it up against the uh, Thrash and Throw T-Rex. So we put them side by side. Oh God, if it keeps on making noise. I would say that the Spinosaurus is actually bigger than the T-Rex. So that, that's really good. And what about lengthways? Len length if we put the T-Rexes, oh, the T-Rex is a bigger tail, that's for sure. T-Rex is actually longer for God knows whatever reason, but just by like the tiniest amount. There, there really isn't much in it. And playability wise, these guys are gonna be great to sort of like, you can have one kid have the Spinosaurus and the other one have the T-Rex. Will you shut up, please? Again, you're, you're looking at two different, like, prices, I'm pretty sure. Like, the Thrash and Throw T-Rex, I'm not sure, was it like 40 quid? 40, 50 quid? And this one, again, don't know because I had to order it in, but it's definitely a lot cheaper because it's not electronic and what have you. I really like this Spinosaurus, actually. It seems a bit bulky. Maybe it's not bulky, it's like short and stubby. Um, but honestly, I feel like that's probably a lot to do with that tail. Like, if they just extended that tail, a little bit longer, I don't think I'd be that fussed about the uh, anything. Oh, oh God. So it does have the uh, cracking, the uh, cracking length, <laughs> cracking legs that you uh, get with the thrash and throw T-Rex as well, just to hold it into that position. Of course, you've got the um, malleable feet where you can break the ankles just to help it stand on uh, obviously unlevel surfaces. It's legs as well. Um, you can sort of make it do a little dance. Night. You don't seem too sturdy actually now that I think about it. That, is that a good pose? Yeah, that's a good pose. Okay, we'll bring in something from the Roravore set. So we'll bring in like the Allosaurus just to give another like scale comparison. It's weird actually, like the legs on the Allosaurus are way more malleable than the uh, Spinosaur. It's actually kind of weird. I'm also having major issues getting this bloody Allosaurus to stand. Hold on! Spinosaurus, give me a second and oh, this is... This is really like perplexing me. How the hell? I mean, again, you just look at this tail. It just needs to be like way longer. That's why we're having these balancing issues. Is that the only way I can get him to stand? And even then he's like, mm, I'm not really gonna do it. Well, that's news to me. Didn't realize that the Alistair actually couldn't stand. Maybe it was in my video, but uh, nah, he's, he's not having any of this. Yeah. All right, how about we compare it to the Baryonyx then? Seeing as they're both in the same sort of family. And yeah, the Baryonyx can definitely stand and you can just see like the height difference there in comparison. Makes you wish that we just like saw the Spinosaurus at least one more time in the Jurassic franchise. But I guess he was supposed to be an abomination, wasn't it? Masrani's weird little plan. Even bigger when you do that in comparison to the, uh, the Baryonyx. Like a bet, he's not even in screen here, not even in shot. I'll probably put up like close up images of this, but the uh, the sculpt on it again, you can't really fault them. There's like lovely um, nodules and scales running all the way up and down it. The color scheme as well, it's not completely like the one from Jurassic Park 3. Um, some people have already done a repaint of this um, and they've made it like completely accurate. And if you're a repainter and that's what you like to do, you can definitely make this. I mean, the sculpt's there, 100%. Like the shape of the face, the teeth, 
It's it's definitely got that Jurassic Park 3 Spinosaur look to it. There's a bit of a xenomorph, xenomorph mouth to it with that tongue constantly like coming out. And another thing that I feel like Mattel have learned from uh, companies like Schleich and Papo is the gums at the sides as well. So when it opens, it kind of looks like the gums part of its mouth and it closes as opposed to having just a big gap there. That's a really nice little uh, touch that they've done. There's not many uh, overspills. There is a little bit on the teeth uh, bleeding onto the top of the gums, but apart from that, there's nothing really to complain about. I love the um, the uh, forearms of the Spinosaurus. They've even got like muscle definition for like the, uh, the bicep and the tricep. So this uh, this Spinosaur obviously lifts. If, if there was only like a couple of things I would say that they could improve on, probably just the tail length, definitely. Um, and maybe make that tail a little bit easier because I don't know if that's really going to stand the test of time. And after just playing with it for a little bit, I feel like the feet as well might get a bit too loose. And while it could just be standing there, very slowly if you time lapse the camera, it might just like start to spread and spread and then it might just tip over. Again, this is the first day playing with it. I mean, if a kid plays with this all the time, that's definitely going to happen at a quicker rate. Hunt like that but then again i guess i didn't really place the feet too well but just to prove a point oh spinosaurus love it and yeah on the inside of the legs as well you've got this um you've got like the wrinkle like the crinkling of the skin as well just touches of detail like you can see the rib cage there as well um again i'll put up close-up images of that because i don't think that camera could really pick it up oh it looks so cool when it stood like that definitely if you are a fan of the uh, jurassic park 3 spinosaurus Oh, look, I mean, look at that. The tail already. Just gotta say that's probably Mattel cutting a little bit of corners on that. Because I'm pretty sure we've clicked in tails of other dinosaurs. I don't know exactly which ones in particular now, but they weren't that loose. I was gonna say this is a case of Mattel, like, impressing us at first and then slowly, like, just cutting corners and stuff like the tail and the uh, joints for the legs. If I was to rate this, as far as like Spinosaurus uh, toys go, um, I'd probably give it like a seven. I was gonna say six, but I think being a six is a bit too harsh. Now the reason why I say seven is just because you've got other toy companies like Papo, like Schleich, that have done amazing Spinosaurus models, really uh, high detail, a high level of detail, and probably a similar price range, if not maybe a little bit cheaper, just because it's got the Jurassic uh, World license, the Jurassic Park license. They, they, I mean, they feel like they could charge a lot more for it, and fair enough, uh, you've got to make money, I suppose. Um, as far as other Spinosaurus models go that we've gotten from Jurassic Park, uh, Mattel, and Hasbro, and even uh, Kenner, I've got to say, um, it's one of the best. I mean, it's not really saying much, seeing as what we've had in the past, but definitely up there. Um, I couldn't say for sure if it was better than the big version that we got for Jurassic Park 3, that rubber one. As far as sculpt goes, it beats it in all categories because that one was so rubber and its teeth were like tiny and the paint job was messy. It looked like it was rushed out. Um, and I don't know, I, the only thing that's stopping me from making it like, yep, this is the best one, is just because I have a nostalgic spot for that Lost World Spinosaurus. And that's pretty much it. Because <laughs> I, I love that thing. I remember choosing in the toy shop, and like which one I wanted, and I wanted that one out of all the toys I could have had. Like, oh, that one looks cool. Um, but yeah, as unbiased and as I can be, okay, yes, this is probably the best Spinosaurus toy that we've gotten out of the Jurassic franchise. I definitely wouldn't say out of the best Jurassic Park, the best Spinosaurus toy that we've ever gotten, because I think if I was to say that, it would be doing a disservice to Schleich and Papo, which just the level of detail on them, this can't compare to it. It's like, that is really good quality stuff, like good quality mo like mold and paint job. And this is, it's kind of like a mix. It's like, do you like Jurassic Park? Yes, well, here you go. This is a good toy. But if you you want to relive the battle between the T-Rex and the Spinosaurus from Jurassic Park 3, then just like fight each other, blah, 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 then I would, oh God, we've got even more yellow paint. That's probably a thing all these dinosaurs are going to have, isn't it? They're going to have that yellow paint on them. Because <laughs> all the dinosaurs have this 
globular paint on their teeth and already the T-Rex is uh, it's got lines on its neck where I've obviously had other dinosaurs attack it. So all your toys are gonna have yellow streaks on them probably. But anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, uh, leave in the comments telling me what you think of this Spinosaurus. Is it as good as the hype led it up to be? Or could it do with some work? Also, don't forget to buy this awesome merchandise in the link in the description below. But honestly, the print on this shirt just came out really well. Like back when I was on 300,000 subscribers and I made the Raptor shirt, um, like when it was sent to me, I was not happy with the print. And that fair enough, that was through somebody else. But I was a bit worried when I sent this uh, design off. I was like, oh no, maybe it won't look too good because you know, it's, it's gonna be printed on a shirt. But after like receiving this sample uh, shirt, the, the, the colors are so vivid. But no, I, honestly, the colors on this thing are beautiful. And I wanted to make something that looked really cool, like the banner. The banner on, my, on the channel, I'm really happy with. The, Ryan did an amazing job with it. And, uh, and this shirt design as well, he's done an amazing job. And yeah, anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye bye